The following marketing information and discussion is provided for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as professional guidance or consultancy. You should find an agency for that. Comexis is a digital marketing agency, so feel free to hire us. But otherwise, just enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Buyer's Journey by Comexis, a discussion-based podcast on the ever-changing marketing landscape. I'm Matthew McGordy, the social media content producer here at Comexis. I am Len Ward, the managing partner at Comexis. So today is Monday, and on Monday we talk about the awareness stage of the buyer's journey, and that's basically where somebody is be either becoming aware of a problem that they have and therefore they need to go find a solution, or they're becoming aware of your product and service and are now aware that they might want to buy your product or service. And one of the things that we talk about a lot on the show about a fantastic awareness play is social media. In particular, we talk about Facebook and Instagram being really fantastic for the awareness phase of the buyer's journey. And Facebook has just uh, announced a new change, some new, some new additions uh, to their Facebook video creation kit. Um, so this was just some tools that they had on Facebook's platform natively that allow you to do some light editing of video so that way you can make them into ads. So now they're going to be rolling out a tool that automatically will turn one video into multiple videos with different aspect ratios to optimize ad placement. So for those of you who are not aware, um, videos come in multiple aspect ratios. So the typical aspect ratio people are used to seeing is 16 by nine. That is typically 1920 by 1080 resolution. So it's what you see if you're watching regular high definition TV. If you're watching a movie, it depends a little bit. That's a little more complicated. But if you're at home and you're on your TV, that's probably what you're watching. If you're watching something on YouTube, you are probably watching it in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So things like that are really good for commercial advertisements on TV. They're really good for YouTube ads. Um, However, on Facebook, because of the way that the Facebook feed is laid out on mobile in particular, but also in general on your computer, it's better for video to be taller than it is wide. So the 1920 by 1080 resolution, 1920 is how wide it is, 1080 is how tall it is. Um, So normally somebody like me would go in, edit a video, and then I would edit a different version that might be one-to-one, which is square for Instagram, or maybe four by five for Facebook, which is a little bit taller than it is wide, right? Well, now Facebook is offering that opportunity uh, based on video that you've already created to then crop and resize it appropriately. Um, So I think this is a a really interesting tool. Um, It makes it really easy for people who don't have the marketing budgets really to come in and make these uh, videos pretty cheaply. Um, And there's also different templates that you can add um, to do this. Um, The one thing I will stress though, is that because this is an automatic algorithmic kind of thing, you you might end up with a lot of weird crops, things that don't look right, um, which can happen, which would not happen if you had somebody like myself, for example, check us out, comexis.com if you need any video editing. Um, (laughs) If you had a a professional actually going in and and, and manually doing it. Um, But I I definitely think that this is really cool. So Facebook, um, the company says that will only take a click of a button to automatically turn a single video into multiple videos with various aspect ratios for different placements like on newsfeed or stories. So it seems like they're going to be making versions that are like four by five, one by one, which is good for Instagram. Uh, Probably a couple different aspect ratios depending on what they're doing. And in addition, they're going to be adding things like stickers, uh, fonts that you can add quickly into these videos for text overlays, some different um, seasonal stickers, for example, for Halloween, uh, for Mother's Day, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, And then you'll be able to save drafts. So, you know, if you ever need to go back to it, you'll be able to. So what do you think about this one? I mean, it's it's obviously, you know, I mean, you know, as an agency, we're a huge proponent of Facebook video for awareness campaign, even for the retargeting campaign. Um, we actually feel as if the video ads perform better than the static ads, um, it, unless you're selling a product. I think if you're, you know, direct to consumer type product, I think, you know, maybe the static image is fine, but it's just in our testing, we've noticed the videos work better. I think what this simply does, it just makes it easier for the average marketer to come on and start doing, because you're right, some people don't have a full edi- editing, you know, capabilities like we have here. Uh, but it's just, it's another way for individuals to come on the Facebook, 
you know, make it easy and to benefit from it. And herein lies the, I think, the, uh, the lesson. I have long told clients that we are in the golden age of Facebook and Instagram. You can get into Facebook and Instagram, fairly affordable, much more affordable than Google, but I'm not saying that it's, you know, dirt cheap. And you're at the times now where now Facebook's even making it easier for you to put your video on there and market it because they're going to be doing all the editing for you. It, it just astonishes me the amount of people that aren't on Facebook advertising yet. And I, one of the biggest pushbacks I get is B2B. You know, and I'll say, well, my clients aren't on there. And I know I've said this on a podcast before. I'm like, no, yes, they are. When they're grabbing a smoke or they're watching or reading or, or drinking their coffee, they're checking out Facebook, they're checking out Instagram while they're at work. So it's just, you know, it's almost kind of uh, moves into the, this is the awareness stage, but for purchase for Facebook, uh, which is what this would be, you're making this product easier for an individual to come on and purchase. So um, it's not good for us in a way because <laughs> I think it kind of takes something away bit. from us. But not. But I think it's tremendous. I think it's, it's if you are a, you know, a marketer with a smaller budget, I think there's no reason why you should not be embracing this and jumping on and trying to give Facebook a chance. So it's a good product. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, we, we we've seen when, when when we talked about Google uh, allowing you to very quickly make six second bumper videos off a of video that you have already created. We're seeing some of the the smaller. I don't want to say they're easier, though, from my perspective as a, a video editor, I think making something that is six seconds long from something that is 30 is typically easier than making the 30 by itself because you already have that structure, right? Um, they are chipping slowly away at my job, unfortunately. But um, I think in this case, especially in this case, um, it, it just makes sense. You know, resizing videos is not something that takes a lot of time. So it's really nice that Facebook is, is finding a way to automatically do it for you. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna test this out a little bit, but I, at the end of the day, when, when we talk about like cropping and things like that to, to fit various things, we're talking about zooming in on video, yeah. which means you can decrease the quality of it. So you have to be careful uh, in that regard. So I'll be interested in, in seeing how that, that, kind of, uh, that kind of works off. Also, another thing uh, when, you were, when you were talking, Len, that made me think about it. Um, when Facebook eventually rolls out their new redesign um, of the mobile and of the uh, desktop app, it's been clear from the pictures that we've seen that it will be even more important to have the big visual imagery that they're going to let you have basically by resizing all of these videos, right? Um, so just one more reason to really um, look at Facebook video and really jump on in if you can, because it's going to go from being very important now to being incredibly important and and very popping out at you at the screen even more so than it already does so and one final thing is that i think you're also with what google's doing with facebook's doing is something that we've all seen video is clearly leading the way you know so you'd walk into an agency three to five years ago and you know even us here you had we had five or six copywriters there's not a need for five or six copywriters anymore. You're walking to agencies and you're going to see people like yourself a lot more. And you're going to start seeing, you know, rows of people who are heavily involved in video, heavily involved in, you know, storyboarding. This is the type of content that we're digesting. And um, I know, uh, what was it? I think it was Fox Sports or CBS Sports. One of them is the first purely video website. That's all it is. There's no words. It's just, it's pure, well, there's a little bit of words, but it's more video. So this is just adapting to where we are going as a society where video is clearly going to lead the way. Um, and the actual text word is decreasing more and more and more. So it's just, yeah, another brick in a wall, per se. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening to today's episode of The Buyer's Journey. Check us out at Comexus.com, YouTube, and anywhere you can get your podcasts. And follow us on Twitter at Buyers underscore Journey. Thanks for tuning in.